Hello, it's Mr. Omara here, and I want to talk to you quickly about how you work out the etymology of a word. What etymology means is where did the word come from, and when we're going to be using it, we're going to talk about how words came to be in the English language, but of course, all languages have etymology. So, one of the best places to find this is that most dictionaries have an etymology part of the definition, particularly online dictionaries, because they've got the space. So, looking here on dictionary.com, for instance, at the word guitar, up the top, it gives us the definition, which is just there. Underneath, it says origin, 1615 and to 1625, which means when it first appeared in English. And it says that it's from Spanish, um, what looks like guitarra, and Arabic, uh, again, guitarra. But if we scroll down the page, we'll actually see a whole section on word origin and history. So that gives us more detail. But what's useful for you to know is that it says... 1621, ultimately, that's what ALT, U-L-T, stands for, from G-K, which is Greek, um, perhaps from Persian, which is Persian, reached English, um, directly from SP, Spanish. So sometimes you've got to decode it a bit. They do use um, short versions of words, and so you need to put a bit of work in. They actually tell you where you get, they get this from. They get it from the online etymology dictionary. It's yourself. So... If you have a look at the online etymology dictionary, you'll in fact see all that information yourself and you can work out words directly there. Now, I would say that just because a word came into English meaning something doesn't mean that that's what it still means. So, for instance, this is guitar and another example is up here on nuclear. Uh, we have the definitions and down the bottom we have the word origin, which is from the online etymology dictionary. But if we look up a word, um, and the word that I'm particularly thinking of is decimate, I'll just type it in now, decimate, there we go. When decimate came into the English language it, in 1600, um, you punished military units by executing one in every ten people. And that's from the Latin decimus, um, and it goes on to explain more about the language. So if a unit had done something wrong, you would punish them by killing one in ten soldiers. Now, in recent times, decimate, in fact, not that recent times, for a long time now, decimate is meant to inflict a large amount of damage on. So if we go back to the actual dictionary, here we go, we're on um, dictionary.com, and we type in decimate, that one of the definitions, there you go, but the top definition is destroy, to destroy a great number of. That is the most common definition these days. Even though when it first came into the language back in 1600, which is 400 years ago now, um, it meant to kill by lot, and that means by lottery, every tenth person. So, or to take a tenth out of, like to reduce something to 90%. So, just because something, in fact, this is the whole point of our unit, just because a word once meant something doesn't mean that that's its major use now. So, dictionary.com is a good reference. The online etymology dictionary is a good reference and I'll leave you to it.